May 2023, I created a new PvP alt and headed with my holding alt straight to army in low sec with the goal of surviving solo against all odds while making some kills. I'd scanned a raven battleship. It's probably a PvE in some combat zone and here's the crazy part. I've only been playing this character for one month and I ain't got the skills to fly a battleship or a ship that fires over 600 DPS. It might just be a suicide mission, but hey, why not give it a try, right? Let's see what happens. I mean, I need to fight it with my Orthrus and a raven will shoot above 1000 DPS. Mm. And 1000 DPS against my 12,000 EHP tank can end up in a very short adventure for me, but you never know. If you don't go that little step out of the box, how will you know? Okay, here he is. And remember, always check your D-scan for additional ships in space. Always. I think the Raven pilot is Wolf of Amar, a 2021 character. Here's the deal, and that's the only way to win this battle. I fought him with my Autress, but I only will win if I manage to keep distance, you know? If I manage to be far enough so that I can barely keep it tackled, dampeners may prevent him from shooting at me. My 11,000 EHP Autress is like a piece of paper against a Raven. But those three dampeners might just kill him. Let's do it. And always remember, you never know. I've set up an orbit range of 30 kilometers and my fitting is cap stable. That means I can keep running the three dampeners and the MWD forever. It's a crucial advantage that might just level the playing field against the Raven. Okay, here he is. Let's see. No, I landed way too close. That can be my death for sure. Okay, first of all, I need to tackle him. And second, I need to bring distance between me and the Raven. I mean, if he's cool fitted, he may jump away because I only use a warp disruptor. Let's see. Launching my drones and activating my dampeners and for sure starting to fire on him I mean, hey, if you know you die out here, it's fun. I'll adjust my orbit range from 30 km to 36 km. With the MWD activated, I'll be orbiting at approximately 40 km, just close enough to keep him tackled. It's a delicate balance, but if I can maintain this distance, I might just have a chance at keeping the Raven under control. Drugs helping a little bit, and look at that! He's not able to shoot me at the moment, so my dampeners do their job. Mm, he's targeting me? When that happens, it's important to bring more distance between you and the raven. I take some damage. Well, I need to overheat my dampeners. The problem is, if you orbit nearly on your point range, you sometimes will lose tackle. His shields are almost gone, that's cool. I go a little bit closer. I don't hear any sound. Maybe I should turn on my sound first. And here he targets me again. I mean, that's the problem to fight a 1000 DPS Raven. If he will be able to shoot, you will die out here. I orbit him at 35 kilometers and that's too close. So let's go back to 40 kilometers. Jesus, I can't tank that DPS. 
Let's overheat the dampeners again. I mean, that's the only thing I can do in that moment. Oh, 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 this TPS hits me like hell. Dampeners, do your job. Block him. Do it. No, uh, I need to warp away. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, wait. He lost lock on me. That's absolutely insane. I mean, it's working now, but... I have to orbit him at 38 kilometers with my MWD activated, which puts me at an orbit range of 40 kilometers. The warp disruptor can only reach up to 41 kilometers, so we're walking on thin ice here. Backup is arriving, nice. I mean, it will take some time, but it's possible for sure to solo kill the Raven in that Arthurus. You never know. Do it, take the fights. I found a Proteus in space. Let's try to find him. Here he is, sitting in a combat site. Let's warp in at 30 kilometers and see what happens next. I landed a bit far, but I think I can tackle him easily. 48 kilometers, I can do that by overheating my disruptor. And point? No, he runs away in a Proteus. That's crazy. I mean, he's actually fleeing from me, and I'm only a month old. It's quite likely that he's an alternate character of Sheriff Hangover, <laughs> or one of those notorious NFG players who never engage in one-on-one -on -one battles. I switched to my main character and located a retriever in a mining side area. Here we have one retriever and two ventures. Hey, let's go for it. A kill is a kill after all. Need to tackle him fast and I changed my orbit range to 25 kilometers. Well, there's a hurricane in space too. If he's warping in, I will fight him. No need to stop that hunt at the moment. Here he is. I'm landing at... No, he warps away. He must be pre-aligned. I mean, that's cool. If you do some mining in low sec, stay pre-aligned and insta-warp out. What the... There's an Orca on D-scan as well. Jesus, look at that. The Orca warps directly to my position. Okay... Well then, let's tackle him. Go, 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 go! Point, point! Point! First of all, I need to kill his drones, so he will not be able to fight back. But, to be honest, this can take forever with my 500 DPS Ultras. The reload of the rapid light missiles takes forever, that's a huge issue. To take down that Orca, I need a hell of 20 minutes. The Hurricane is still in space and let's see if he warps in. He asked for help in the local chat, but 
Well, we're not an army, we're in Kubinen, and nobody, except maybe the hurricane, will help him. As a very kind person, I contacted the Orca pilot and offered the following. If he pays me 1 billion ISK, he can go free. That way, he would save a significant amount of ISK in the end. However, he said he didn't have that much money and couldn't pay. Huh? You buy an Orca and can barely afford it, and then you fly it into low sec? Let me tell you, don't fly into low sec if you don't have money. And especially not with an Orca. The Ventures are back mining while I'm shooting down the Orca. How crazy is that? Well, let's take them down as well and send them to their graves. Now I've been on that Orca for nearly 20 minutes and hey, I'm super kind, so I'll give him a second chance with a little discount. If he pays 900 million ISK, he can go. 100 million ISK off, just like at the bazaar here. He offers only 130 mil, so I decided to kill him. Well, here the kill is. It's around 2.2 bill on Z kill. Let's call that a lucky catch. The hurricane is still on system, let's try to find him. By the way, if I do not land close range and he will not manage to web me, he's dead. Here we go, I land perfectly at 36 kilometers, and that's it for the little cane. Point, shoot, orbit, kill. Drones out and then set the orbit range at 25 kilometers, so he will be unable to point you. Yep, that's it, he's dead. Back to army for a short and quick Ishtar kill. Here he is and he's already dead. I've built a dirty venture fitting specifically for ventures. You see, people think someone's just passing by to mine and they're surprised when they get shot down. I've already taken down quite a few. How many kill marks is that? 165? Could that be possible? After the kill, I sent him 15 mil, so he will be able to buy 50 new ventures. Not bad at all! Taking down an Ishtar worth 170 million ISK, a Raven worth 420 million ISK, solo killing a Hurricane worth 60 million ISK, an Orca worth 2.2 billion ISK and another solo Hurricane worth 80 million ISK. That adds up to around 3 billion ISK. That's quite a successful hunting run. I love that authorship.